please hear me? I tell him who's calling, please. Oh, get on the floor, little girl. Just a minute. It's a uh, Mr. Ted Bartlett. Ted Bartlett, that's the president of my union. Give me the phone. Give me, give me the phone. Give me, give, give me the. Will, will you give me the phone? Give me the phone. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah. Hey, about the speaker, yeah. Yes, Mr. Bartlett. How are you? Ah, get out of there, Stretch Cunningham. I know your voice. I, I hope that ain't bad news. You're really worried about a strike, aren't you, Mom? Oh, Mom? yeah, and I hope it don't happen. Still, I don't know how we'll manage if Archie don't get more money. I can't figure it out, Gloria. 20 years ago, Archie was earning a lot less and we was eating a lot more. And then I always had something left over to put in the savings bank. Now there ain't hardly nothing left in there, and I got nothing to put in. I don't know how long the bank can afford to go on like this. <laughs> oh, whoop-de-doo. Hey, everybody, good news, Edith. Bring my beer. Whoop-de-doo, whoop-de-doo. <laughs> Edith, you know who that was on the phone? Should I guess? No, sit down. <laughs> the stretch Cunningham, he's calling me about the strike. He was using the executive's toilet at work. <laughs> Walter, to tell you went to the toilet? <laughs> The executive toilet, meathead. See, he was up in the office part of the plant, so he figured, well, as long as he was up there, why not? Why not what? Well, why not see how the other half uh, lives? <laughs> so he was sitting in there, and all of a sudden, in comes Jim Sanders, the personnel manager, and the big boss, old man Pentecast himself. Oh, my, I hope Stretch didn't get caught in there. No, 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 they didn't even see him. See, he picked his feet up. <laughs> he heard Sanders say to Pendergast, Mr. Pendergast, you think there's going to be a strike? And Pendergast said to Sanders, no, there ain't going to be no strike because we can't afford no strike. Oh, that's great, oh, that's terrific that's news, Gee, I just hope it's true. Certainly it's true. Men never lie in tailors. In tailors, everything is on me, yo. Well, now aren't you glad I talked you into having your wedding anniversary party? Well, sure, I'm glad now that there's something to celebrate. In fact, you know, I think I'm going to run down a corner and buy myself some more cigars. You want to come meet here? We can finish the fight. Yeah, all right. Uh, Michael, will you please stay here and help me finish? the decorations, everybody will be here in about a half hour. That's why I'm well, leaving you, Gloria. You're going to you're gonna no do it much better no without strike. me. There ain't going to be no strike. There ain't going to be no strike, no strike, because there ain't going to be no strike. <laughs> I'll get a good night's sleep. Oh, hasn't Daddy been sleeping, Ma? Oh, no. I can always tell when he's sleeping because he snores like this. <laughs> What's he doing when he's not sleeping? He don't snore. <laughs> oh, I get it. That's probably Louise. She's making a cake for the party. Is this the Bunker's residence? Yeah. Telegram. Oh, thank you. Oh, my, look, a telegram. Go ahead, Ma, open it. Oh, no, it says Bunker. It might be for your father. <laughs> Ma, your name's Bunker, too. It's probably a happy anniversary wire. Go on, open it. Oh, all right, if you say so. <laughs> I'll just read my hair. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have opened it. Why not? It's from your father's union. He's got to go on strike on Monday. That's not what Daddy just said. I know, but he was wrong, Gloria. Men do tell lies in Turlets. 